For the sixth day in a row, decampment efforts continued. Uh, just a headache and, and, and a hassle. Jason Rondeau says every day is a game of cat and mouse. Uh, on Wednesday, they booted us out of here. They told us to pack up or get or lose your stuff kind of thing. And so we packed up, we moved, and when they left, we came back. And the next day, they did the same thing. We packed up, we moved, we came back. And yeah, it's ongoing kind of thing. The clearing of sidewalks began last Wednesday due to warnings of escalating crime and extreme fire risk. But advocates say residents have nowhere else to go. If you drove down Hastings Street, it might look like there's progress, but the only progress has been moving people into places where they can't be seen. And concerned that the decampment was rushed and poorly planned. It could have been, you know, something more set up um, in order for people to have a place to go to. And unfortunately, if you look at all the shelters, they're just jam packed. From the jump, the city has said shelter space is available for those who want it. But Rondeau says he's never been offered housing during the decampments. And he and Suds say the type of shelter typically offered is unlivable. They're going to turn down housing that is uh, cockroach infested, that is dangerous, that are fire safety issues. They're going to turn down housing where they can't have guests over, where they can't have uh, their partners in the same room as them. They're going to turn down housing where they have to fill up their water buckets in the shower because there are no sinks in them. Over the weekend, the BC Hospital Employees Union joined the Canadian Union of Public Employees calling for an end to the decampments, saying that it creates greater health risks. Uh, folks are going to become socially isolated, exposed to the elements over a weekend where we had an atmospheric river. It's going to have big implications for their health, for their mental health, for their vulnerability to a toxic drug supply, and inevitably those pressures will come to bear on our health care system. But for now, the city says it will continue to deploy quick response teams to remove structures and keep them from becoming entrenched. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.